when we are rounding, we are asking the question, what is our number closest to? So when we're rounding to the nearest whole number, we are asking, which whole number is this number closest to? Here we've got part of a number line. So we've got four, five, and six. Halfway in between four and five is four and a half or 4.5. Halfway in between five and six is five and a half or 5.5. So this is our cutoff point. So anything in between 4.5 and 5.5 is closest to 5. It's closer to 5 than it is to 4 or it is to 6. So let's look at some numbers and see where they fit on this number line. So 4.8. 4.8 is above 4.5. It'd be up here somewhere, 4.8. So it's closer to 5 than it is to 4. The closest whole number is 5. So it will round to the nearest whole number to 5. 4.2. 4.2 is down here somewhere. So 4.2. It's below 4.5. So it's closer to 4 than it is 5. 5.31. So that's just above 5.3. So that's over here somewhere. 5.31. It's less than 5.5, so it's closer to 5 than it is to 6. So to the nearest whole number, it is 5. And 5.686, so that's in between 5.6 and 5.7. 5.686, it's above 5.5, so it's closer to 6 than it is to 5. So it will round to 6. Now, how about 4.5? 4.5 is exactly halfway between 4 and 5. So how do we pick which way it rounds? And this is just usually done, the way it's usually done is it rounds up. So it rounds away from 0. So 4.5, we're going to say rounds to 5, even though it is halfway in between 4 and 5. So when we've got exactly halfway, we're going to round it up or round it away from 0. So let's look at a rule for rounding. So when we're rounding to the nearest whole number, we look at the next number down, the next digit down. So the one after the decimal place. That's going to be our key number, our important number for rounding. The next one down and if it's five or above we're going to round up so we had 4.8 so we had an eight after the decimal point it was five or above so we rounded up 4.2 we've got a two after the decimal point it wasn't five or above so it stayed as a four 5.31 so three is the key number it was not 5 or above, so it's below 5, so it didn't round up, it stayed at 5. 5.686, so 6 was our important number. It is 5 or above, so it rounded up. 5 went up to 6. And 4.5 had a 5 after the decimal point, so it is 5 or above, so it rounded up to a 5. So let's look at some examples. Rounding to the nearest whole number. Our key number, our important number, is going to be the next one down, which in this case will be after the one after the decimal point. So if it's five or above, we're going to round up. And if it's not, we're going to leave it as it is. So 23.574. Isn't important. We're only looking at this five, and it is five or above, so it rounds up. So 23 is going to go up to 24. It's closer to 24 than it is to 23.
9.39. We've got a 3 as our key number. It's not 5 or above, so it's going to stay as it is. So it's a 9. So it's closer to 9 than it is to 10. 26.45. We've got a 4 after the decimal point. It's not 5 or above, so it stays as it is. 26. And 105.62. We've got a 6 after the decimal point. It is 5 or above, so it rounds up to 106. It's closer to 106 than it is to 105. Okay, four for you to try. So give these ones a go. So we're looking at the number after the decimal point, and we're saying, is it five or above? So 8.64 is going to round up. So it's nine. 11.48 is going to stay as it is. That's 11. 37.615 is going to round up to 38. And 4.269 is going to stay as it is. And that is 4. Okay, now we're looking at the nearest 10, the nearest 100, and the nearest 1,000. So to round to the nearest 10, we're going to find the tens column. So we've got 57, 50 in the tens. And we're going to look at the next one down, which is going to be the ones. And we're going to say, is it five or above? So seven is five or above. So it rounds up to 60. It's closer to 60 than it is to 50. 152. It's not going to round up. It's going to stay as 150. Rounding to the nearest 100. So the hundreds column. We find the hundreds column. And then look at the next one down. Which is going to be the tens. If it's 5 or above it rounds up. So 684 is closer to 700. It rounds up. 1,547 isn't going to round up. It's going to stay as 1,500. And rounding to the nearest thousand. So we're going to find the thousands column. And then look at the next one down. Find the thousands column. And look at the next one down. So we're looking at the hundreds. Is it five or above? If it is, it rounds up. If it's not, it stays as it is. So 9,392, it's not going to round up, it stays as 9,000. It's closer to 9,000 than it is to 10,000. 24,752.6, so we're only looking at this number 7, is it 5 or above? Yes it is, so it rounds up 24,000 to 25,000. So it's closer to 25,000 than it is to 24,000. Okay, some for you to try. So give these ones a go. So rounding to the nearest 10. So find the tens column and look at the next one down. So look at the ones. Is it five or above? If it is, round up. If it's not, leave it as it is. So 84 isn't going to round up. It's staying as 80. 276 is going to round up. So it'll be 280. It's closer to 280 than it is to 270. Rounding to the nearest 100. So find the hundreds column. And then look at the next one down. Which is the tens. If it's 5 or above it rounds up. So 243 isn't going to round up. It stays as 200. And 195 is going to round up. So that will be 200. And rounding to the nearest thousand. Find the thousands column. And then look at the next one down. That's the important number we're looking at. Is it 5 or above? 
So 7,641 is going to round up. So that becomes 8,000. And 84,562 is also going to round up. 84,000 will become 85,000. And to finish up, we've got well, eight questions. Pause the video, give them a go, and press play when you're ready for the answers. Question one is rounding to the nearest whole number. So we look at the number after the decimal point and say, is it five or above? If it is, we round up. If it isn't, we leave it the same. So 6.483 is going to stay at 6. It's closer to 6 than it is to 7. And 19.63 is going to round up to 20. It's closer to 20 than it is to 19. 6 is 5 or above. Question 2, round into the nearest 10. So we look at the next column down, which will be the 1s. And 72 doesn't round up. So it's 70. It's closer to 70 than 80. And 25.3 is closer to 30 than it is to 20. Because in the ones, it's got a 5. So it is 5 or above. So it rounds up. Question 3. Round into the nearest 100. So the key number is the next one down which is the tens. 461 is going to round up to 500. And 6,257 is going to round up to 6,300. And rounding to the nearest thousand. So the, the key number is the one in the next column down, which will be the hundreds. So we've got 15,965. It's going to round up to 16,000. And 2,478.52 isn't going to round up. So it's close to, to 2,000. 